Hi everyone, today we're going to explain section 2.3 in Griffith's Introduction to Electrodynamics. Um, let's start by um, describing what we did last time. We said that in the image problem, we can use this configuration, we can use this configuration as a substitution for this configuration, where in this configuration we have an infinitely grounded plane that has a potential V equals to zero on some point of charge plus Q that is separated by a distance d. If you want to calculate its electric potential, we can do it easily by using this configuration that has two charges plus q and minus and minus q. Um, so uh, they are distant here by uh, 2d. The separation distance is 2d. If you want to calculate the force, we might say that, well, we have the same potential in both cases. That's what the image problem tells us. So we have the same electric field and same electric field means we have the same force. We might be, you know, we might say, okay, if the electric field is the same and the force is the same, hence the energy is the same. Well, that's not the case. In our case, the electric field is not the same. In, uh, I'm sorry, the energy is not the same. And why is that? Because in our case, the first one, when we have an infinitely grounded plane and a plus charge, we might say that the electric field is only present in the region above the plane in the region uh, down the plane we have no electric we have no electric field while in this uh, in this case we have electric field in both regions upside the upside the plane and downside the plane and we know that the work is proportional to the volume integral of the electric field squared and that means that we have half the energy in this case uh, that's the first way to to look at this problem we might also think about it in a, in a different way and say that, well, in this case, those both charges exert work on each other. So we have, you know, this plus charge and this minus charge, they both exert work on each other. While in our, uh, while in this case, um, only this charge that exerts work and this plane has a zero potential. Zero potential means that the work or energy is equal to zero because the work is proportional to the potential. So we, uh, we exert half the energy in this case than this case. Okay, and last thing, um, we, can, we can solve many problems using the image, the method of images, not just the elastic problem, uh, because, you know, uh, it is designed for that. If we have a plus charge, would we have a line of charge or a surface charge, whatever, the only condition that we have is that we have some grounded plane and we have some charge here, whatever this charge looks like. Uh, then we have, uh, we can uh, use the image problem configuration to solve for our electric potential and hence the name image because we're going to do a plus here and a minus here or if we have a plus line of charge here, we're going to have a minus line of charge here. That's it for today. See you next time.